go on a new one. Hey guys, it's Jay here from Dex with Wanderer, and I'm back out with John and Paul here, and we're on a nice little five day trip it's gonna be here. Hopping around some ponds full of trout, camping, canoeing. We got a good week of fun ahead of us. I am the first one down here, so I'm gonna get loaded up and get out of the way so that they can get in here. Very short paddle, just going right to the other side there making the carry into the next body of water. So, yeah, let's get moving. All right, I'll meet you guys on the other side. I'm gonna start smoking a cigarette because I don't get bit. I think that's why you don't get bit. Oh, it's definitely a factor, dude. I'm gonna start smoking. There you go. <laughs> and just like that guys we're on the lake we're gonna camp on tonight Gonna put in here, fish our way across there, and start looking for the lean-to that I stayed at last year. Those of you who saw that trip, I mean, you know, I, I did pretty good here, so excited to make my triumphant return. <laughs> I'm riled up, bro. Oh, no, dude, you gotta be. Oh, my wallet. So thick with money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you still need water? I got my filter right here. Huh? I got, got my filter. Right. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go, lads. My God, look how beautiful all of this is laid out before us like this. We literally might be the first canoe campers back here. This is crazy. John just caught a really nice rainbow trout. I'll put him, try to put a picture of it in right here if I can. He's, he's happy. I know it's probably always nerve wracking having someone bring you somewhere that you've never been before, unsure of what the fishing's gonna be like. I'm glad he got one. I can hear him yelling back there and hooting and hollering. Good for him. Look at these things flying around my head. Holy cripes. Good thing they don't bite me. Look at them. Dude, are those all wild ramps growing right there? No. It's a skunk cabbage. Wow. Nice lean 
Someone stocked the kindling in here. Holy cripes. Look at our knee. Wood. Yeah. Wow. It's maybe been, I don't know, 10 minutes since I turned the thermocell on. Bugs have definitely dissipated. I mean, they were swarming up here. And yeah, this will be home for, I guess, the next few days. I initially wanted to go a couple ponds deeper, but yeah, you know, these old guys, they can only, they can only do so much in a day. So we'll stay at the lean-to tonight, make it easy on them, and crank up the heat tomorrow. <laughs> it's a good little spot, for sure. It's good to be back here. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is that skunk cabbage, they call it. Stinks when you walk through it. Beautiful little spot. Yeah, Paul's pretty fancy. He's got himself an auto-inflating or a, a pump that inflates his sleeping pad over there. I have to do it like an animal with this sack here. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> hey, that's what they say. Well, Paul might have to do less work, but I definitely got that set up a little quicker. So... You're younger. Who's to say what's better? <laughs> I'm giving you guys a head start, okay? I appreciate it. Yeah, guys, my battery died while I was out in the water, but look at this beautiful rainbow I caught out there. <laughs> uh, none, these two couldn't have done better themselves. No, Paul got this thing, man, and it is a beauty. Normally, we wouldn't keep a fish this big, but it just, it just did not revive. You said it didn't even have a lot of fight coming up to you. It, had, it jumped like four or five times. And then I just then I just pulled it in like a like a what like a boom. What the heck, man? Well, at least it wasn't full of corn like the one at uh, the last pond I was guiding on. Yeah, we're up here now. I mean, we only gave it like an hour out there. We got a fire going though. Definitely cooled down the second that sun went down. Made for a beautiful, beautiful night though. The wind dying down would be nice. That made trolling pretty tough. We'll chalk that up to my lack of fish tonight. <laughs> If you say start recording, it won't start. Nope. Okay. If they stop recording, it stop. Go into your list of voicemails. I did. Uh, it's down there. You yeah. know, yeah. plastic or wood up there, mount it. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get it. What's that? What's that? Yet? Miss Dash. Oops. Yeah, get it right. That's a nice size rainbow. Put it over and do the other side once it's ready. She's 
got to get over that heat, though. We need that. Yeah, we're closing in on all this being done here. The trout skin has a nice little bit of crisp to it. The flesh is starting to peel off the bone. These potatoes are getting nice and soft. Ton of great flavor in it from the dash. I think it's time we eat, guys. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the night. Had a great dinner, real nice s'mores, great time hanging out by the fire with these guys. But if I'm going to wake up early and get on these fish, I got to turn in early. So, get the barrel packed up, that all set up, candle lantern is lit, it's time to turn in. Oh, good morning guys. Woke up to another kind of windy day here, but it is beautiful out there. John's just hopping in the canoe to fish this body of water. Paul's up there getting ready. And I'm going to load my canoe up and make a quick carry into another smaller pond nearby where maybe the wind won't really have such an effect. At least that's the hope. Yeah, that's what my boat actually looks like once it's all set up for a carry here. The rods are velcroed in at the sides and at the front here. The rod holders stay on. The depth finder mount stays on. This yoke goes on the seat. And my paddles get velcroed in here like so. Holding them in place, keeping them from bouncing around. I'll throw this bag on my back life jacket I'll just wear and we're just gonna head right down that road there cut into the woods do a quick little bushwhack and we should be at a nice pond full of some decent sized brookies we made it all right I'm gonna get the canoe loaded up Everything set up, help Paul get down here, and we'll get to doing some fishing. Of course, as luck would have it, I just ripped the wire out of the fuse of my depth finder. Oh, man. Can't believe I just did that. After forgetting the battery last time at the last place I went, now this. What the heck, man. Hey, I got one pretty quickly here. Oh! Hey, less than a second later, we got another one. Seems like a good one. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful brook trail. We got him. I got one. Oh, he ain't even hooked that badly. Let me just wet my hands. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful little fish there. Get him right back in the water where he belongs. Nice healthy release. And I still got the worm in the net. 
falls on one too. Wow. I love these little these little hidden ponds like this. They don't really get hit and uh, when you put bait in them, you're bound to catch fish. Got another one. This one's probably about 16. This one's probably about 16 inches, 15. Here we go. Uh, 15 inches it looks like. Oh, shoot, shoot. Nope. Ah, come on. That's why I don't bother doing that. I'm gonna put him in the net and make sure he goes back, okay? Oh man. What a disaster. Yeah, he's ready to go. Nice. Yeah, that might have, if that was a stocky, that was a holdover. Yeah. No, the first one I caught was probably 13, I would say. That one was much more substantial. We got another one on. I think this is a total of six fish on the line in 15 minutes. This fish is coming back with us. I can tell already. I'll give you guys a look at him before I dispatch him here, get him cleaned up and get him on the stringer. Beautiful fish with absolutely beautiful colors on it right there. Um, I don't see any part of his, oh, you know what? That might be clipped fin right there. He might've been stocked maybe last year, year before. All right. Let's Put him out of his misery and uh, make him ready. Yeah, surprisingly, that brook trout actually seemed to revive and take off here. I was just letting him sit in the net after getting the hook out, getting the stringer ready, and he started flopping around. I let him sit in the water and he swam right to the bottom. So nice. We got a release. Awesome fishing action this morning. This is crazy. another one here oh yeah nice one too very nice one oh, some real fight to it another good one this one's a real rod bender man Yeah. I think so too. Awesome. One's 
looking to be a little bigger than the first one there. Wow. What beautiful, majestic fish these are out here. Just a pond absolutely full of them. You don't find this everywhere in the Adirondack Park. This is, this is nice. This is a special little spot. Oh man. I can't even remember how many that is so far. Either four or, that was either number four or number five. Yeah, so we've got a little bit of cell service out here and we're able to communicate with each other. So I just told John that we were doing pretty good over here on this pond. So he wants to get out here. I'm gonna paddle back to where we put in and walk back to the lean to and show him how to get back here. Cause I mean, it's not obvious. There's not really a trail. You could maybe pick out where I walked and follow it, but I'd rather not have somebody get lost or something like that. So I'm just gonna paddle back. I'm gonna leave my boat down here at this pond, hike back to the lean-to, grab John, grab a bite to eat, and uh, we're gonna get right back out here and fish. I mean, there's no point in trying to hit the big lake while the wind's blowing like this. So this is probably our best option. This or one of the other smaller ponds around here. Look at this cloud of bugs around my head. Woo! We got John though. Got his boat down here. And we're gonna try to get him on some brook trout. I just sunk my left boot way up over the rim of it. So my feet are wet. Or at least my left foot is. I'm gonna try to drain it out now. Ugh. Not in the boat. The things we do for trout. All right, let's get back to fishing. Right off the bat, we got one. Paul's already trying to claim it's a largemouth bass. We both know they ain't in here. Yeah, it's a brookie, dude. Looks like a largie to me. Oh, we'll let the camera decide. Look at that little guy. It's not bad. Out there? Nothing. Not big, but still, yeah, he's ready to go. Yep, off he goes. Nice. Yeah, we got totally blown off the water at this point. We're just getting knocked around by that wind. You can't even keep up a good trolling speed. So it's about 10 30 we're thinking about leaving the boats right here honestly and heading back to camp and just coming back to this a little later tonight once it calms down i mean i don't know i'd like to fish the bigger lake for sure but if the wind's not going to let you i mean there's nothing else to be done about it look at this bug crawling right on the screen all over my hands i don't know what i would do if they were biting me this would be horrendous yeah, after we got blown off the water down there, we made our way back up to the lean-to and figured might as well have a little lunch. It's not noon yet, but it's a little late for breakfast, so I might save the chorizo wraps for tomorrow. 
and just have ourselves a nice pot of Habanowitz chili here. It's got some real good flavor to it. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly classy dining. We didn't have to do a ton of work to heat it up, but not a bad little lunch when you're out here. Especially after a day of catching brook trout, man. Yeah. Woo! We did good this morning. Yeah, we really did. That was a good idea getting out there. Glad I made that. Alright, All right, well, we've hung out here long enough getting swarmed by black flies. Suppose it's time to do a little fishing. It's still kind of windy, but I don't know. It seems like kind of it's blowing in a different direction now, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's just wishful thinking. All right. Let's get back at it. See these bugs flying around my head? Woo! Stephanie would not like this. Right off the bat, we got one here. Keep him? Yeah, he's real small though. Tiny guy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on. He's good. He's good. Ooh. Wow. I wasn't too sure what my chances were with this wind blowing the way it is, but. I'm off, man. Yeah, it's starting to look like it might storm a little bit. John's napping in his hammock, but I figured I'd go get his depth finder and his transducer and not let it sit out here. Yeah, Paul and I just gathered up a little bit of wood, started making it ready for tonight. There's not really much else to do when the weather's doing this to you. Just kind of hide out from the bugs, I guess. Oof. Still good to be out here. Rain is let up. I'm getting ready to cook my dinner. Cabot macaroni and cheese. I don't know what John and Jay are cooking. I'm making up some uh, spaghetti and mushroom stew to put over the top of it. Let me see what you got there. Oh, From Hapanowitz. Yeah, a little Polish um, market. Uh, what are you cooking there, Mr. I'm going to eat my other jalapeno cheddar. Yeah. I mean, you could straight up see the cheese in it, the pepper and everything. That's It's so good. It's the Wegman <laughs> special, man. It's so good. It's the best burger that you could buy. It, I, I've had them, man, when we were at uh, wow. that unnamed lake, yeah. man. That was good. It's so good.
Alright man, hold down the floor. windy out here but this is much more manageable than what we had going on earlier today we're back on the same lake as the lean-to here John and I just hopped in the boats we're gonna make a few passes around some of these islands some of these hot spots here Paul's gonna hold down the fort back there probably have a fire going when we come in maybe I spoke too soon here comes that wind ah, just can't escape it Gonna try to make do though, you know? See if I can pick up a couple more fish here before the sun goes down. Oh man, is it beautiful out here though? Just look at this. Quickly running out of daylight here. I'm gonna throw out two last Hail Marys here and see if maybe we can pick up a fish on the way in. Nice man. Yeah, I might I might go home tomorrow, but if not, I'll probably definitely go home the next day. Cool, bro. All right, man. Oh, yeah, hit me up, dude. I'll yeah. be I'll be chilling here, get some stuff done around the house, and I'm gonna go work for Chris tomorrow for a little bit. But um, yeah, dude, I'll uh, we'll catch up with you, man. Let me know how things go tomorrow. All right, man. Happy birthday. I appreciate it, my bro. Bye. Appreciate you. Have a good one, guys. Yeah. All right. Peace. See you, dude. Later, fellas. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. Yeah. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the night. Whoa. <laughs> wow. What the heck, man? Uh, but yeah, I mean, had a good dinner, hang out with the guys here. Didn't have any s'mores tonight because John had Reese's, so it was a nice little snack. And yeah, going to try to get on the fish tomorrow if the wind's not too bad, huh? Yeah. 100%. We all did pretty good fishing today, I would say. I mean, that was... That's a lot of fish coming out of one little pond like that. Yeah. For the time, amount of time we spent on yeah. it, too, we're not even camped on it. We couldn't even it. fish after we yeah. just visited it. Yeah. That was crazy. This is a great little place here.
But uh, yeah, we're gonna turn in, wake up, make a nice breakfast, and hit the water. Yeah, so Paul and I are up, we're moving around now. Got a little bit of water boiling for some hot chocolate. He's making coffee. I got a little morning fire going here so I could do a bacon. We're gonna make breakfast wraps today. It's gonna be good. Beautiful day out there. What a spectacular view to wake up to. Those mountains rising up, that blue sky. Whew. If only it was a little warmer, maybe. <laughs> Less wind. I could deal with the yeah. wind that makes it cold. Yeah. Yeah, there's coffee being made, hot chocolate being drank. We're just finishing up these hash browns here, letting a little cheese melt on top of the eggs. Everything's just about ready here. We eat good today, guys. And there we go. Everybody's fed. Everybody's eating. We'll get cleaned up after, and hopefully be able to get out there and fish. Man. Yeah, it's just been constantly working against us. We've made do, though. I mean, we've caught fish, which, you know, I mean, you can't complain. for today is to try to get into another one of these small protected ponds that holds brook trout and a possibility of rainbows as well. We just didn't want to keep hammering that same small pond over and over, you know, so we're going to try to venture out here and find a new one. Hopefully make me make the wind cooperate with us a little bit and we'll find a little luck out here. It's a beautiful day to be out paddling, that's for sure. Look at the size of that beaver dam. Oh my God, it's keeping out. That's like four, three and a half, four feet of water difference between these. Oh my God. I got a big, I got a big rainbow on. Oh yeah, dude, big one. Rainbow 
trout. Look at the colors on that creature. Whoo! What a beast. Wow. First, first one to catch a fish here out of all the guys. Might end up being the biggest one too. I just got another good one. Wow, he just jumped out of the water like five or six times. Woo! Oh my gosh. right in the mouth so I'm just gonna get that out quick. Yeah yeah all right I just wet my hands quick to just get too windy to fish out here I'm thinking two nice rainbows that's probably a good time to call it Wow two really nice fish Whew. Man, my battery died right when I was filming that bird. That wind was crazy. I mean, that was that was kind of scary for a minute there. Whew. John got snagged right as it happened, so it was kind of at the mercy of his fishing line and the wind there for a moment. My God. We decided to get off the water just in time. And I mean, look at this. Look how it is when you get tucked back into the bay where our lean-to is. Calm, pristine. You can troll a wobbler out here. Wild. Yeah, we're all just back up here in camp now. Got blown off the water, so snacking a little bit, relaxing, hanging out. I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but I mean, it's it's white capping even in the bay that we've got back here. Not really fishing weather.
Yeah, we're getting ready to head back out and do a little fishing. <laughs> we're gonna, instead of fishing out here where it's windy, we're gonna load these boats up as light as we can and carry into another nearby pond here. Fish that for a few hours. Maybe try to get some brook trout. I mean, we had, I don't know if I mentioned it in the video, we had three brook trout ready for dinner yesterday and all of them got stolen by an otter. I knew that's something that could happen. Heard about it happening to old timers. Just, I don't know. Guess I thought it wasn't going to happen to me till it did. So, I mean, we they didn't go to waste, I guess, but not not the ideal situation. But maybe we can make up for it now. I'm going to get everything situated here and make that carry over. Alright, not too bad a carry to get over here. Place looks beautiful right now. Not too much wind. Beautiful blue day. Come on. That's hard to beat. quick no oh, I just dropped the hemostats in the water oh my god I got a fish on my other one oh and I just lost the net Yeah, can you grab my nut, man? Hang on, reel it in. What the heck? Something grabbed the other one while I was trying to get this one off. Thank you, dude. That was chaos. Wow. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, something hit my other rod while I was trying to take care of this guy here. Oof. Then we might have dinner. No, you're good. You're good. All right, let's see if we can revive this guy. Come on. Trying to swim for the bottom. Yep. Sweet. Oh, the bottom of my net broke off. I just had a hit and lost one. No. Just brook trout. Wow. Good one here. This one's got some fight. Woo, that's 
That's a big one. Oh, you're asking for it. No! Yeah! Oh. Oh man. Oh, dude. You did this. What just happened? I saw a fish hit my line, set the hook, and I don't know. What the heck, man? I can't believe that. Oh boy. I don't know what the hell happened. Yeah, with losing that wobbler, I'm out of worms here. I think it's time to head back in. It's about seven o'clock now. Figure we'll get a fire going, get some dinner going, and just get ready for tomorrow. These guys, I think, are going to be heading home tomorrow, and I am going to be moving on to one of the more northern lakes in the area here. I'm gonna see if I can find some more fish there. Hopefully the weather cooperates with me, but I'm still gonna make a slow troll back to where we put these canoes in here. See if maybe I can pick up one last minute fish without a worm, maybe. We'll see. It's been a great day of fishing though, either way. Done pretty good this trip, I will say. And I still got plenty of trip ahead of me. So, I'm excited. All right, let's see these three nice fish Paul got here. Woo! That mean a mama bear or a papa bear, a mama bear, and a baby bear. That's that's perfect for the pan tonight, man. Wow. John's still out there trying to make Did a little luck. Huh? He had one on. He right? got one. He got one. Yeah. Because right when I look back, he was reeling something. Yeah, we're just back up here. We're going to make the boats ready, make the carry back. Get a fire going, get all that good stuff ready. Dinner, s'mores, hanging out by the fire. Yeah. No. I found his rod holder. Did you really? Yeah. Good man. He'll be happy to have that back. I had to bend over in the muck to get it. Oh God. My God. Wow. Beautiful night out there. Jeez, it calmed right down too. <laughs> There's my guy. <laughs> Look at that.
We did pretty good out here, man. Yeah, man. Don't let them hit the ground. No, these will come up and get strung up. Yeah, we're back up here at camp now, getting a little fire going. Let this burn down into some coals that we can cook on, and we'll be rocking and rolling with some fish. What do you guys want for a side? I think I might just make some mac and cheese. You want some mac and cheese? Okay. All right, so the way we're gonna do these trout tonight is kinda, I guess old school, bacon, grease in the pan. I tossed some onion in that we had left over from breakfast for extra flavor, and this is pretty cheap bacon, really fatty as you see, so we're gonna let that just all that fat come out of it into the pan here, season up the trout, throw them in, maybe put a couple of slices of bacon on the inside cut of them, and just let all that flavor soak in, sear the sides, cook the middle, and we're gonna have a great meal tonight. Yeah, those trout are gonna be good in that. We all saved one for the meals tonight. There's mine. Dave gets the big one. Yeah, I'm burning that. Yeah, you might want to move away from the Yeah, Dave wants to get the last one in there. Look at that. My turn is perfect. All right, this big one's looking about done here. I'm going to pull her off, let it cool down a little bit. Start ripping in. A lot of people come out and try to do what we're doing right now and fail, man. We've done we've done pretty good for ourselves. Oh yeah. Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it for us tonight. We had a great dinner, had some s'mores, we've been hanging here by the fire, had some whiskey. It's just been a great night, great day. I'm going to close it out with a great sleep here. Yeah, it's supposed to get pretty cold tonight, so I think we're going to throw one of these body warmers into the sleeping bag with us just to make sure that we don't end up uncomfortable. 20's pretty cold. 20's pretty cold, and that's a 20 degree bag, so. But, uh, yeah, otherwise this is just the end to Yet another great day out in the Adirondacks, and I got a few more ahead of me, so looking forward to it. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning, guys. It is another absolutely beautiful day out here with a noticeable lack of wind, which is what we've been waiting for. Unfortunately, these two are getting out of here on the nicest day we've got. Happens every, time. every time you guys just end up rolling those dice and getting a little unlucky but you've got a serious chance of getting some decent fish on your way out of here i think it's safe to say it got a little cold last night guys that's a good layer of frost on the top of my life jacket there look at this water out here
Oh, we got one. Oh, my camera's been on the whole time. What the heck? A little rainbow. Just a little tiny guy. Nice to have a bite though. Well, it looks like this is me where me and the guys are gonna part ways here. They're heading back towards the cars. I'm just gonna keep on trolling here. I've got a few more days ahead of me, so figure I might as well enjoy it. The wind's kind of starting to come up on me here, so I'm thinking I might tuck into another one of these smaller nearby bodies of water and do some fishing there, but we'll see. I don't know. I might get back to the lean-to, make some breakfast, something more substantial, get a little caffeine in me, who knows. Sad to see the guys go, but we had a ton of fun. I'm sure we'll be doing this again real soon. Man, it sure is quiet here without the guys. What the heck? I don't know if we ever even showed this on video. We found this out in the woods on the way out to one of those ponds we were fishing. Just laying in the grass. Figure it makes a nice little adornment to the lean-to here. I don't know. Breakfast is pretty simple today. A can of Coca-Cola and some cinnamon buns. Can't really go wrong with that. Simple, sweet effective and just gonna hope this wind stays down and lets me get out and explore a little more here today i'd love to hit some new water i mean we kind of hammered that pond back there i'm really not really not keen on returning to that and let those fish rest for a while i'd rather get out on some of these other lakes and ponds nearby here i mean what the heck if the wind's gonna if the wind's gonna cooperate with me today that's the plan so I'm gonna get eaten, get a bag, day bag packed up, and head on out. All right, I got a quick little breakfast taken care of, cleaned up the lean to, stuck the barrel away, and it's still looking pretty favorable out there. I've got a bit of service, so I checked the forecast. Doesn't look like it's gonna get any worse, so I figure I'm gonna do a little exploring today. Why not? It's a great day for it. Oh, the sun feels great. I think he did get one. That was so cool. 
cool. It's a beautiful little lake here. When I was paddling in, I could see what I assume were a few deer moving along the shore here to my left on this little island. I, maybe peninsula, there's like a marshy area connecting it to the true shore proper, but yeah, I believe I saw their white tails moving through there. Amazing. This has been such a wild trip between, I mean, the great time with the guys, the great fishing, the great wildlife, the great food we've had. This has truly been one of those spectacular trips, you know? I mean, I know I say it about every one, but you'd be hard pressed to go out here and have a bad trip in all honesty. I mean, you've seen me, I've, I've gone through cold, snow, adverse weather of all kinds, but when you end up with a cool, clear, blue, perfect day like today, I mean, it makes everything leading up to it worth it. Really surprised that uh, Paul and John there had it in them to leave today. I mean, these are the days and the moments that we kind of wait for out here. So eh, they got stuff to do at home though. So what are you going to do? I literally work out here. Soon to be living out here, so it's a lot easier for me. We're starting to get into that perfect depth to troll here. I'm just going to let myself get a little deeper. And this is the lake that I caught that really big brook trout when I was here last year in. I think he was like 18 inches, something like that. An absolute monster for a water body this size, I mean... Take a look, it's not, it's not exactly a lower Saranac Lake, that's for sure. But these little, these little ponds and lakes like this, they'll surprise you. You can hear a bullfrog tuning up his pipes back there. You hear him? It's that time of year. Hey, we got one already, wow. That was fast. It doesn't feel like a monster, but it's definitely a fish. to be a nice little brookie. some fight in him so we're gonna try to get him back in the water there beautiful color on that fish I just don't have time to show him off I'm hoping that he's gonna take off here beautiful that's what I like to see I made enough brook trout this trip I don't I'm not really concerned about keeping anymore. I would love for each fish I catch from here on out to just go back to the water just like that did. I would not have been able to release that fish as well as I did if not for the hemostats that Paul lent me. I went to go take a fish. I Maybe it's on camera. I went to go unhook a fish yesterday and... Dropped the darn things right over the right over the side, down to the bottom. Couldn't believe I did it. But 
Great start. Wow, can I just go through the culvert? I think someone cleared out the beaver dam. Jeez, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if I can. Well, you don't get to do that every day. That sure made that easy. Never had to even get out of the boat. No spiders on me, right? Ooh. I cannot believe the size of this beaver lodge in the channel between the lake I was just on and the one I'm going to fish right now. <laughs> wow, man. Could probably fit several families in there. All bleached white. Looks like bones. That's crazy. Wow, you could see another pretty big one built just into that down tree right there. Man, they are busy back here. That's crazy. Between that dam on the one lake and all these huge lodges. I bet you this is a trapper's paradise back here. Maybe I should get my trapping license. Oh my God. This GoPro mount just broke like my other one did. <sighs> Oof, I think I fixed it, but I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it. I definitely am not gonna let the camera hang over the side of the boat, that's for sure. Jeez. Two mounts in two weeks I've gone through. What am I doing wrong?
another just big beautiful lake out here but the fishing hasn't really turned up anything out here this afternoon I haven't caught anything since the very first lake that I moved to this morning hmm it is getting a little late in the day, a little late in the afternoon here. Maybe it's just gonna be a little tough this this time of day. I'll probably start paddling my way back towards the lake that my campsite is on. Just slowly move through all these same lakes that I came through here, troll through them all. I'll just fish the opposite side of them that I came in on and see if I come up with some. Wow, I caught the same thing in this lake that I caught last year. A big old bullhead. He's thrashing around, he's unhappy. Jeez. Oh, he inhaled it. Hope that he passes it. I mean, that's a big bullhead, man. Thought I had a decent fish on. I, I got a good fish on. Just wondering when I was going to get my next one. Wow. Oh my God. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is a huge brook trout. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. He barely fits in the net. I gotta wipe my hands, and then we're gonna let him go. Oh, come on. Yeah, it looks like 18. He's gone. Wow. I'm glad that that fish was okay. That was a really big fish. I cannot believe that. He... Oh. I can't believe that. No, he's gone. That was crazy. Oh, yeah. I cannot believe that trout I just caught. Oh my God. That's that's the highlight of the trip right there, folks. It, it doesn't get much better than that, I can tell you. Wow. That's 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 my new that's my new personal best brook trout, no doubt about it. That was a monster. Same exact lake I caught the big one in last year. Wow. I don't know if the camera can see it, but these black flies are swarming out here. Oh, even if they're not biting me, just just constantly landing on me and hitting me in the face, I couldn't stand it. I ended up building a small little fire here and 
threw some kind of punky rot and stuff on it to get some smoke going and get them the hell out of here. I've got the thermosel running as well. Yeah, I've just been kind of hanging out. Snacked on some... I had, what was it? Salami, chunks, cheese, and crackers for lunch. It was really good. Just kind of a light snack sort of lunch, but man, it hit the spot perfectly with some pink lemonade to go with it. And now I'm kind of just gathering wood, doing some chores, making ready for tonight, and hopefully soon I'll be getting out there and fishing before too long here. I think John and Paul might end up not regretting, but uh, that might be one of them messaging me right there, wishing they had stayed here after the day I had. I mean, this was just, this was fantastic all around. I mean, what did we catch? A brook trout? Did I get a rainbow trout today? I know we caught brook trout. I know I caught that landlocked salmon. I did catch a rainbow trout this morning. That's not a bad day. I can't complain about it, that's for sure. But it's going to be getting dark here soon. It's definitely getting cold, so I'd like to get in, get a fire going, get some food in me. Have a little whiskey and just enjoy another beautiful night out here in this amazing Adirondack Park. Oh. It's just incredible. I don't know. I don't know what else to say.
Wow. What more can you say looking at a scene like that? Oh, man. Oh, that fire feels great. Still gets pretty cold in May when that sun goes down. I was kind of scorching out there when it was up, but almost the second it dipped behind those mountains, it got chilly out there. Oh, it's so nice having a fire back at camp. Owls hooting, loons out on the lake, peepers peeping. What an excellent day. I've said it probably a hundred times today, but it's just, this has been stellar. I'm really not sure what I want to do up for dinner tonight. I don't know. Maybe we'll do spaghetti with mushroom stew on top again. It's always a treat. And there's dinner. Simple, but effective. Oh, it smells amazing too. Last of my real fresh food, honestly. I have a little bit of cheese, a little bit of pepperoni left, but the mushroom stew was really Kind of the last actual substantial meal. Everything else is sort of, oh, what do we got in there? Like rice, hamburger helper with dehydrated ground beef, you know, that type of thing. I always bring extra food just in case, but uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well this time. Well, there's only one thing to do after eating a great dinner. Eat some great s'mores. Yeah, now that dinner's done, I'm just kind of puttering around here, trying to pack up anything I know I'm not going to need tonight or in the morning. That way it's ready when I make the move on to the next body of water here. Just anything little, small. Get that packed away. Got the s'more stuff out so I can get into that in a minute here. Oh, definitely starting to feel like the end of a trip here. Even though I got another day ahead of me. It's been a good one. Well guys, I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. Had a great dinner, had some s'mores, had some whiskey, and I better crawl in bed if I want to wake up early and beat the wind tomorrow. I still got a bit of packing up to do in the morning. I'll have a light breakfast and hopefully be able to get on the water in time to catch some fish before things really get dicey out there. I know I'm going to sleep good tonight. That fire is rip-roaring hot. It's just cool enough outside that it's going to feel amazing having that heat blowing in there. Oh, it's going to be a perfect end to a perfect day. I know that. Hey, good morning, guys. Definitely a little bit of a chilly one. I woke up to 34 degrees today, which is a lot better than the 20s and below freezing days that we had while Paul and John were here, honestly. I'm almost all packed up pretty quick. I mean, I don't have a ton of stuff with me. And it looks like we might beat that wind. It's beautiful, calm, and foggy out there. The sun's just starting to tickle the top of those mountains back there. 
You'd be hard pressed to find a better place to wake up, I tell you that. Man. Hate to leave the lean to here, but I don't think there's any way to meet up with Stephanie tonight and get back here before dark. So I'm going to move to a pond a little closer to the parking area, set up there. Hopefully, hopefully no one's there and uh, yeah, wait Stephanie's arrival. Maybe even catch some brook trout, who knows? But right now we got some moving to do. I didn't really make breakfast today. I've just got some apple fruit and grain bars there. Those will hold me over. Yeah, pretty much cleaned up here. Double checked everything. Just gonna start bringing stuff down to the boat. I think I might have just lost one. Darn. Oh no, there's a little rainbow on there. Wow, he's tiny. soul around. It's crazy. And the wind's just starting to pick up. So I think I timed this perfectly. I really don't have a lot here, so I'm probably going to be to the other side pretty quick, set up, and hopefully I can get there before the worst of the wind and maybe fish for a few brook trout. I don't know. It's already starting. Probably keep the bugs away. Wasn't too bad in all honesty. Getting a lot better at packing and prepping and all that. There we go. Nemo trackers set up. I guess I put the rain fly away what? I don't. I don't remember it being wet when I put it away. I always take stuff out to dry it out when I get home. So I don't know how that happened. 
had a little breakfast, a little more breakfast, had another cinnamon bun in there. Got the thermosel rolling because uh, the bugs are swarming again. And I'm honestly thinking, now that I'm all set up, kind of want to get out there and fish. Yeah, this wind is definitely throwing me around, even on this little pond, but... I guess if I kind of hug the leeway shore here, I can manageably troll. The water's about the right depth, so just hoping for a bite, maybe. I'll give it like an hour or so. Well, that'll put it at noon. The wind will probably really be picking up by then, so make some lunch, make a little something to drink, like some lemonade or high C or something like that out of my drink pouch. and. I don't know, relax, read a book, something, pass the day away. Right now, I'm just hoping to come face to face with one of these big, beautiful brook trout in here. I guess I'm going to pack it in. This wind is just making it impossible to fish. It's blowing me all over the lake. I can't stay in the depth I'm trying to stay in. It's a pointless endeavor at the moment, I believe. I'd much rather go in and get something to eat. I mean, I've caught plenty of fish all week and even caught a rainbow today, so I am not going to be greedy with it and try to fight this. Oh man, I just woke up from a killer nap. Oh, had a bunch of pepperoni and cheese for lunch with some crackers. Was hanging around and the bugs really started hitting hard. I mean, just bouncing off my face constantly. So I was like, I'm going to lay down and read a book a little bit, but zonked right out the wind is definitely starting to calm down i'm thinking i'm going to be able to get out there with stephanie she is on her way and should be here in about an hour and i would think by the time she gets here this is going to be quite fishable all right we've got stephanie here now she has taken control of the bug net Got a nice few extra little things in the pack basket here that I didn't want to carry around on the whole trip, but now that we're just right here, they could be helpful. And I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but maybe we'll get out here and fish tonight. This is the best it's looked all day. Yeah, it was pretty windy all day. I got off the big lake just in time. Yeah, I got the boat already set up for two now. So, we're going to hop in, get her over to the campsite, get her stuff out of the boat, and hopefully get right back out of there. So, I know that you're seeing me without my life jacket now, and this is not something I condone in any way, but we somehow misplaced Stephanie's, and... If either one of us are going to wear it, it should be her right now. So, we'll make do with it. I mean, we're never that far from shore. It's not that bad out. We'll make do for now. It feels weird paddling without it after wearing it all week, I know that. Hey, it looks like we got one here. Some fight in it. We got him, we 
got it. Duck's laughing at me. It's a nice brook trout, but might be hooked kind of badly. already bleeding. Alright, this fish is going to come back with us for dinner tonight. Let you get a look at him. Real nice specimen. Beautiful fish. Beautiful colors on him there. Real nice vermiculations along the back end. Might be stocked. Looks like kind of some clipping on his fins here. Yeah, I'm going to dispatch him and We'll get back to camp. All right, we've got that fish all cleaned up. We're back up here in camp now. I got a little fire going, burning down into some coals. Gonna boil some water to make uh, nor chicken alfredo to go with our trout tonight. Should be a decent little meal. Smells amazing. How is it? Cook good? Awesome. Well guys, I think that's gonna do it for tonight. Stephanie and I are hunkered down in the tent here. Had a great meal. The brook trout tasted so good. We had a few s'mores after, had a little bit of the apple whiskey Paul left, and at this point, we're getting ready to just Put a nice end on this great day here. I've got to wake up pretty early and guide some folks doing some day fishing tomorrow. So that'll probably be where the video ends. So I just want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate you coming here, checking out my videos. Uh, it helps a ton if you guys could like and comment and subscribe to my channel. If uh, you know, if you like what you see me doing here, but uh, yeah, it's been an absolutely amazing trip. Caught some amazing fish, and uh, sad to see it end, but they all have to. So, we're going to get in these sleeping bags here, get up early, and get on out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hey, guys. I know I said the other night was the end of the video there, but... Uh, I figured, if you're still watching here, that you might be interested in seeing some of the footage from the past few days of guiding I've done here and around the area. Some day fishing, some overnight canoe camping, stuff like that. We did really good, had a lot of fun, and I figured you guys might want to get a little glimpse into some of what I do when I'm not just out here tripping. So, yeah, this will probably be the actual sign off and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Here I'll hold him up. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish with some absolutely wonderful colors on him. You'll never believe this. I've got two brook trout on both lines at the same exact time. Oh my god, I cannot keep a fish in my hands today. Here's the other one. He's ready to go. Wow, that's a hell of a brook trout.
That's a beautiful fish. Those halos are wonderful. That was a good deal, yeah, that's really 